All right, and we're back here at the start. We don't have any items. We don't have any inventory. Nothing we can use. If we go to talk to people, that's not allowed. You can't pass through here. Some of them will have new dialogue, which is exciting. Neck thing. You shouldn't get involved with the coffin man. He's good for nothing. He steals things from the dead. We kind of knew that already. Horned woman. Horns? Who are you? Are you saying what I think? Stop. Can you stop? The members of the Malkuth Order were speaking. They said the sense spheres congregate in the lowest layer. It is there that the world accumulates, and it is from there that the world is released. All right, we'll talk to Coffin Man in a minute. What we want to do is fight some fishies again. If we're lucky, they'll drop stuff. Two. Oh, awesome. There's another one. Sometimes the fish can spawn in the area, like the inaccessible area, so it's good when they don't because it means we can actually get uh, the experience for them. We've got a bone. Alright. Move forward. Welcome to my underground cemetery. If you die, you're all mine. If you're cool with that, please come in, goddammit. I have your coffin waiting for you. So there's a benefit to uh, going underground at the start of every run. Uh, namely, it allows us to uh, pick up items and levels that we can use when we enter the nerf tower. Splurge a little, I'll tell you. Uh, using items is the key to survival. I don't remember exactly what he said because it disappeared before I could read it. But, oh, no, I did not want to throw that. Um, However, this is going to be awesome for us because it will start us off with a bunch of bones that we can use, uh, which is great. This game has the pathologic trick of walking diagonally as fastest. Don't be stingy with your items. If you have time to worry, use the thing. Then you'll be able to learn what it One rub. Okay, bravo. The trick to defeating grotesques is using items, getting near and slashing, all while not getting surrounded. Good luck, goddammit. Uh, we are not going to use items if we absolutely do not have to, because we want as many of them as we can. You're doing good, and you have a good amount of HP and VT remaining. Now on to the next floor. Press the X button to bring up the map. Red marker displays your goddamn position and direction. healed to eat that. There we go. We'll probably want to use the experience orb uh, when we get a whole lot of them. Oh, dang it. I meant to stand on that for longer. <laughs> Oops. Press the triangle button to open the item screen. Bite on a warp bone and you'll be teleported. Press triangle to open the item screen, but on an invincible bone and you become invincible. It's only for a limited time, so be careful. We are going to hold on to those because holy smokes, are they useful. If you throw it at a goddamn grotesque, it'll become invincible. The thing in the room is a recovery pattern. You'll recover HP and VT, so you should get on it, goddammit. Yeah, I would if I didn't accidentally die. <laughs> didn't accidentally break it when I walked over there. for me over here. Invincibility bone. I love this music. Other than the individual effects of each bone, you'll recover 10 HP and VT. Keep biting if you're in trouble. But if you bite a bone that deals damage, you're screwed. God damn it. The number on the top left of your screen is your level. 
Oh, that was a recovery pattern. It's tails up. It'll do damage to you. This, uh, so this one's placed heads up. It will heal us. So basically, patterns can be put face up or face down, and putting them face down reverses their uh, effect. Oh yay, that one didn't break either when I stepped off of it. That's awesome. Number on the top left of your screen is your level. If you stop for a while, it will show you the uh, floor that we're on. Picked up a homing bone. When you throw it, it'll home in on a grotesque and deal damage. The number on the top left of your screen is your level. If you stop for a while, you will see how far down you are. Gonna repeat himself over and over till we move on to the next floor, so we should be fine. I'm just trying to move quickly. Right. There are a lot of other items, but what's important is whether you use it on yourself or throw it at the enemy. That timing and combinations are the key. Poison bone obtained. Well, it'll stick with you as you keep using items. There we go. I think there's seven floors in this one, right? Throw a poison bone and you'll poison the grotesque. Tossing a burst bone will cause an explosion. Hit a grotesque with an invincible bone and you'll be in trouble. I learned that the hard way. Find the right time in combination to make good use of the items, goddammit. Please use items to your advantage. Because there's a grotesque nest, nest coming up. Alright. You can hold up to 20 items. So be careful. You should use your goddamn items before your inventory fills up. Stone obtained. Stone bones are hard, so don't bite them. Nothing over here. This music is so cool. <laughs> Attack by throwing works pretty well too, so try throwing. Oh god, I am... Uh... Invincibility, just a nice one to tank as many hits as I want. Probably should have just thrown a burst bone here. And I realistically should have eaten an experience bone as well, but. Nice. Killed all of this. Let's see what we can do. I think this is the end of it, right? Oh, Coffin Man's Intermediate Dungeon ends after you go down here. Please look forward to the next time, goddammit. I will, Coffin Man. Thanks for, t for having a good time with me. Oh yeah, one more piece of advice. There's a recovery pattern by the Nerve Tower. Yeah, we already did that. So because we just did permanent progression, we beat the Coffin Man's dungeon for a second time. We can save our arising data. I don't know if that lets us keep all of our items, but that would be great if we could on reload. All right, let's see what Angel has to say. Can you remember anything? 
It seems you're having difficulty speaking. However, if that's only as far as your problems extend, then you must think yourself fortunate. You should have already learned what you must do. It seems you understand your responsibility. Do you not? You do know what must be done in order to atone for your sin here in the real world. Use it. Don't you dare give it to anyone. There is a significance in you using it. All right, let's go fight some fish really quick if they respond. Because it's a good way to just get some extra experience. I think they did. I think I heard them. Ooh, nice good crit. Heck yeah. So it didn't, it wasn't enough to push us up to the next level, but we're doing all, uh, all right, like, there we go, sorry, I was uh, reading something. We were doing all right anyway, so we should be fine to progress. All right. A little notification popped up and I got distracted by it. Alrighty. I think those were the pretend angels that, uh, what's his name mentions? Neck thing mentions. Assault, assault. Increases the attack of our weapon. So we now have a six damage sword, which is pretty nuts. Oh, that's a full heal. That's awesome. And we're at pretty much full health. Uh, just down a few VT, but should be fine. Okay. Got a bone. Got a pathetic. Got a pathetic sword. Awesome. Hey, this is all just throwing weapons at this point. There we go. Increase our max health. I don't really think we need to worry about saving our health. Do you remember our wounds? Have we forgotten the origin of our sin? Or of that scar, sorry. Intriguing. So clearly that face is someone who has a torch to burn against the protagonist. Ooh, and a twin sword. What does this one do? Up to two can be equipped at once. Interesting. So. Okay, no, it has to be two twin swords which ultimately means that they are useless for us because our current sword is very good. Um, all right, we can get rid of some stuff here. damage pathetic sword that means that it must have had an adhesive on it because he cleansed it before giving it to us evolution obtained containing fluids for evolution recovery it may explode all right we'll save on that for later all 
an injection was obtained. Those are generally only good for us, I think, so I'm not too worried about it. Oop, don't want to use the nutritive. Lucky infested me. Okay, so what did that mean? I just infested myself with a parasite. It raises my luck. What this means is I will get critical hits more often, which is actually pretty great. Oh, nice. Got a buff. HP VT activated, HP max up. Sick. Ooh, we got a beast coat, which is pretty strong. Non flammable. Ah, interesting. We don't need that. Uh, what I'm doing right now is giving him items because he'll create new stuff uh, out of unnecessary things. It's random what he makes. It's not like a particularly scientific process. Got a brand. Ooh, identified as erotic. Interesting. When in lust, you will achieve max sword speed and your crit rate will raise. Oh, okay, so if I get the lust status effect, I will be doing pretty darn well for myself. Uh, is there anything else I can get rid of that isn't particularly useful? Let's just start get rid of the other bones. Bones we don't know anything about, not really useful. Cryosurgical sword, so that's a ice sword. Blaze Torturer, that's useful. And we don't really need the Cryo Circle Sword anyway, so. Gave us a full heal, sick. All right, so we're doing really well right now. Is there anything else to give? Let's look at our map, that's all we need. Of the Noseworthy Clan says, wow, lucky drop. Yeah, I've been I've been getting pretty lucky on floor two <laughs> so far today. All right, let's see what we can do. All right. Just a bunch of bones. Don't really have much to use that for. Oh, flame blower. Ah, oh, that's a really useful brand. I guess at least in the early game when we don't have. Uh... Let's see. Get rid of that. At the very least, I can throw it at someone. I guess. Oh, stubborn, the stubborn boxes give me uh, some, uh, like an item of the stubborn type. From what, what I understand, if you wear multiple, like in a set, it gives you a bonus. Give it a try. Opens when your attack is 30 or more. Ah, invincibility and erasure items inside. Sure, we'll keep hold of that, I guess. Ooh, I want that average, though. HP max up some more. Like most roguelikes, I think, you know, prioritizing like stat progression and stuff is generally pretty strong in the early game. Because it just allows us to like outpace uh, the attrition. Ooh, girder, that's useful. That. Especially right now when I have a bazillion bones.
Ooh, all right, I should start actually getting some usage out of those. Eliza, please. So we know from yesterday when we were playing the Saturn version, we walk through this wall. Please leave. Sense fear, restore. Here in this place, my cannot. In the depths again. All right, so I don't really understand what she's saying there. I can't tell if she's in the depths or she wants us to go to the depths. But either way, we're headed there, so maybe we'll make her happy. I'm not really sure. Alrighty. Proceed. I don't actually know how deep the tower is right now. Oh god. Oh, oops. I left that there. Okay, I'll pick those up in a second. I just want this meat. We're getting lucky on meat today. <laughs> oh, I need that. Holy smokes, that's good. This is a, increases our attack and our defense. So, so we now have a yeah, seven <laughs> seven stack sword. I'll throw the pelt at someone. Just get rid of it. Get out of our inventory. sword. I doubt it will be as good as the one we have, but... Oh, it's a stamina sword. Okay. Uh, I don't want to eat that until I have a uh, clear indication of if it's rotten or not. Oh, it's Urim and Thumin, right? You heard those cries of agony? The agony of the littles. Only gotta endure it for a bit longer, though. I think there's a plan to make the littles destroy themselves, after all. Does he want anything? Yeah, I'm fine for now. I don't need it. Have it back. I don't know if there's like anything in this room for us. What's that? Is that just his area? Oh yeah, I guess it is. I didn't realize his like little area was blue. Kinda neat. All right, on to the next floor. So yeah, I think this game's story is actually pretty interesting. It seems to have to do with something uh, known as the Great Heat Wave and uh, details some sort of sin or it's about some sort of sin that we apparently allegedly have done. 
can't really tell everything about it so far, but yeah, I don't need the stamina sword. It's pretty, pretty dope. There was a set of prequel novels that were released before uh, the game was published. And I'm really curious about them. I might read them. There's a translation available on the fan site that did the translation for this room. And, uh, and basically, ah, no, I missed. Oh well, I missed again. <laughs> It was just the stone. It wasn't really that important. Detox cannot be obtained. That's fine. We'll hold on to that seed for now. Should probably be using experience ones, huh? I have five of them. Oh, I need that armor ampule. Noseworthy Clan says, the books were compiled into a CD-ROM version later, weren't they? Or is the Baroque Report something different? The Baroque Report is not something different. Um, however, it kind of also is. Um, the Baroque Report was a series of novels, and it was later adapted into a visual novel with a lot of changes that, from what I understand, people don't like very much. Um, so I guess from what I understand, people prefer, if you're just playing the game, to read the novel version instead of the visual novel, which, I mean, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Got the flesh box. Got some average that to upgrade ourselves and we'll continue exploring I am not an expert on this game by any stretch of the imagination I've never beaten it or playing it live <laughs> but I did a lot of research uh, prior to starting the let's play so All that thing does, uh, all eyeball does is cure blindness, so we should be fine. Um, I don't really need those. Blaze trap, that's pretty good. I don't really feel like the walking bones are that useful either. I guess it gets stuff away from me, which is fine. A music box. HT, HP and VT is recovered when opened at less than one third HP or you lose. Oh, okay, we can save that for a rainy day, I guess. Narik is here. Hey, Narik, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, 
Uh, Noseworthy Clan says, after doing some digging, apparently the Switch release contains uh, scans of the book and the visual novel. Um, I don't actually know if it contains the visual novel. I have the Switch version. We streamed it yesterday. And I couldn't find the visual novel on it at all. It does, however, have scans of a book. It doesn't seem to be the novel itself. It has a... Uh, it has scans of something called the Baroque Report... Uh, but the books are called Baroque Syndrome. I think the Baroque Report is like a, uh, not a guide, but like a information art book sort of thing. Alice, you've been torn apart twice now. You've been torn apart twice now. Noseworthy Clan says a data book? I think so. It's sort of like a Final Fantasy, like Ultimania sort of thing is, is what it seems like to me. But again, I was just like hastily reading the Japanese yesterday on the Switch version, and uh, while my Japanese is pretty good, this game's general level of Japanese is above my reading ability, so uh, I did not do like a ton of research. <laughs> Ooh, an ID worm. Okay, that's great. Um, what we're gonna do is... Drop that, pick up the ID worm, use the ID worm on the flesh. You find out that this is idiot flesh. It's not rotten, which is awesome. Alright, now we can just head towards the stairs. We're gonna have like a million health by the time this uh, run is over. Gotten really lucky. Uh, cool. We'll just head this way. On to the next floor. B5. You're doing all right today. Also, hello everyone who just joined the stream. Hope you're all doing well. We are playing the English translation of Baroque today. Uh, due to some slight issues with capturing um, my Switch, if any of you were here yesterday, you will remember <laughs> the Switch's audio is really messed up and weird. Um, I am defaulting to just uh, recording the PlayStation 1 uh, version for now, um, which I think is fine for our purposes. All right, uh, do we have our Convergence one still? It doesn't seem like we do. Kill everything instantly. It doesn't seem like there's anything really in here for us. I will probably end up doing a, a yeah, like a pre-recorded let's play of the Saturn version just because it's I think it's worth preserving. There really doesn't seem to be any let's plays of the Saturn version on the internet, on YouTube at all. So um, it'll be like a extra bonus <laughs> like playthrough that I have on the channel. And I'm getting tons of crits. That taken care of. We have a lot of directions we can go right now. Ooh, a girder. Um, we want to pick that up just to um, uh, 
increase all of our bones. We're very buff right now. The PS1 version is obviously totally fine, but it definitely is lacking some of the visual elements from the Saturn version. The Saturn version looks and sounds a lot better. <laughs> Trident. Oh, that is good. I definitely want that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this worm. Oh, shoot. I already branded myself with the Lust brand. Uh, I should probably find a way to debrand that. unidentified as well that sucks so many things but I don't want to get rid of anything oh nice well we healed ourselves that's fine I thought I was at full health which is the only reason why I use that but it's okay so we're doing pretty well on our health bar and our vitality right now our plus seven sword is also pretty rad Stay out of range if we abuse the fact that walking diagonally is is very very fast. Ooh, excellent! So this is a sense sphere. It allows us to throw items in so that we can use them next time. So we'll throw trident there so that we can use that on our next run. I'm going to throw this worm in here just because it's nice to, uh, oh wait, transfer limit. Do I not have the ability to throw another in there right now? I guess we'll have to find another sense sphere. Uh, if we throw items into another sense sphere, it will allow us to throw things like, uh, down to the ground level so that we can use them in our next run. I probably should have used them, uh, with that fairy looking girl, uh, because she's technically standing in a sense sphere. Crypt Angel, that's awesome. All right, we'll use that to potentially identify some things. Oh, synthesis, uh, let's see. Oh, raises my level by one, excellent, that's awesome. Uh, use that. Well, we don't need the, uh... Oh, nice, we got wings. Antitoxin wings, excellent. Prevents poison and paralysis. That's actually great for us. Um, and we just got that by getting rid of the worm. Maybe So maybe the worm was an anti antitoxin worm of some kind. Covers all parameters when injected. Repairs equipment, removes rot. That's nuts! All right, we're doing really well right now. <laughs> Get rid of the walking uh, bones because we don't need them. Convergence torture. Okay, that's great. I'm trying to decide if we should use it or not. Uh, no, we've basically explored this whole floor. I'll use it on the next floor and then just instantly wipe everything out. Use an experience bone right afterward. It'll level us up a bunch. All right, so that thing right there will steal items from us, uh, which I think is kind of cool because it allows us to get rid of adhesive items without needing to do the thing the game actually wants us to do to uh, deal with them, which is kind of interesting because he'll always take something from your inventory even if it's adhesive to you. 
So <laughs> if you um, if you basically uh, like drop everything from your inventory and then uh, <laughs> let him grab something from you, it will just default to taking the thing uh, that is stuck to you because the game just doesn't have anything else it can do. I think that's kind of funny. Old game tricks. Talks and oh, an ID worm. What is that? I think we have something that needs to be ID'd, right? Uh, no, we don't. Okay. Well, we'll take the ID worm for now because I can use it to pick something up. Sebastian. Oh, Keith says a fertility goddess, but dude, this thing. Uh, I don't know if I would call those things fertility goddesses. They're more like corrupted. The creepy barren people. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where can we go? All right. These enemies start uh, getting introduced. Let's use the convergence trap right now. Execute. Suddenly, the room is filled with enemies, but that's fine. We will use the blaze trap on it. And then experience. I should have done experience first. That's fine. And then invincibility one just so that I can kill everything. <laughs> Look at all the things that dropped. Raises vitality max by 15 when it infests you. I don't know how useful this is because we'd be getting rid of Lucky, which is just great for us. And we have a ton of vitality, so I'm not really worried about it. I really want a D-brand item. That's, that's what would be sick. Ooh, wings. Oh, assault wings. Lust activated, grotesque got lust. So the floor should be completely cleared now, which is great. And we have this assault wing. Let's do that. We can get rid of the antitoxin wing next. I don't think I'm really going to need it. It is useful, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's essential. Alrighty. Experience effect is over. Do we have anything over here we need? Level 15, that's not bad doing okay. We still have a ton of experience bones left too, so. Oh. We were in the room with the uh, portal out. Let's just check down here real quick to see if there's any uh, events or, or special stuff on this floor. It doesn't really look like it. Alright, so I need to remember to use the experience bone before I convergence again, if we get another convergence portal. Or convergence torturer, I should say, that's what they're called. In my head I think of them as portals because they look like things that you would like walk through, they look like a door. Freezing, oh, okay, that would actually be useful to have. Um, so just what's available, don't really need anything. Genius meat, oh, okay. Um, 
Oh, and it's actually there. Okay, that's perfect. We have over 300 health. That's great. We'll be totally prepared to fight these Jeromes. Those guys messed me up yesterday when we were playing. Uh, is there anything to ID? No. Nope. Uh, I don't want to get rid of that Vitality one, though. Oh, God. Guillotine. Oh, that would be useful. Let's see. What do I want to do? I actually want to keep this brand right there if I can. Let's drop this. Okay, it's unidentified flesh, which is annoying because I just dropped the ID. Worm. Oh, great. Increase our HP again. Guillotine obtained. When attacking with a sword, you make two consecutive slashes with each attack. All right, I'm going to keep that, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to find a uh, D-brand brand. It should come up sometime soon. I think they'll start spawning already. Uh, where did you come from, Jerome? All right. Ah, Boxman! This is exactly what I was looking for. You're giving me a box? That makes me real happy. Have this. Okay. We didn't really want the vitality worm, but <laughs> it's fine. I'll probably give him this. I don't think I'm going to get up to 30 HP anyway. Got a seed. That's cool. I mean, what the heck? The vitality... Let's just use the Vitality Worm, it's fine. Because the we're never going to be in a situation... Oh, shit, this was the Lucky Worm. I thought I had the Lust Worm. Ah, that sucks. Oh, well. That's fine. Just means we won't hit as many crits. It's okay. I may have just actually done a lot of <laughs> detriment to myself, but it's okay. We'll survive. And I have to go all the way back to uh, get to where he was. Oh, stomach ache uh, curing. That's pretty useful, actually. I wonder if the Crypt Angel can revive dead worms, because I really would like to have that lucky worm back. The Parasite. Trap. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. All right. um. <laughs> Current bottom floor is seventeen. Okay. So 
that one was poisoned. Because we threw the thing at it. I don't remember what floor I'm on. I'm on floor seven, so we have ten floors to go before the bottom. Oof. Yeah, we'll be alright. Oh man, guillotine and trident. Oh, that's <laughs> that's gonna be a hard choice. All right, I'm gonna really need to start like actually leveling up here in a minute. We'll just wait here for a minute for our health to regain so that we can increase it again. We're get definitely going to want a lot more HP uh, by the time we get to floor 17 if we're only on floor 7 right now. Because enemies are going to start to hit really hard. So how's everyone doing? Everyone having a good night? Enjoying the weird game? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Three thirty-two. Grabbed our guillotine back. I'll probably go for trident rather than guillotine because it's it's a lot better overall. Yeah, let's do that. I'm. I'll just use the guillotine to throw. I'll throw it at something a little bit because it seems to do a little bit of damage. I think Guillotine, like the other attack brands, does a pretty decent amount of damage to enemy HP. Get over here, Jerome. Where's the power that the pretend angels found? If you know, could you tell me? I need it. I need it so that I can reunite with what's inside this box. I have no idea what he's on about. Floor BF8. Let's see. 